Hey everybody, I just wanted to show you some of the stuff that I've been working on. Still working, always working. <laughs> I was chipping some of these branches today and I actually got a good amount chipped up in this bag here. These are the branches that are too big for me to chip up. So what I'm gonna end up doing with those is just taking those to my uh, local fire department that has this deal going on that you can bring stuff that you want, yard waste and stuff that you want shredded and they'll shred it for you. But look at this. I got all this cleared out. Well, for the most part. It's more cleared out than it was before. <laughs> I can actually walk through here now. Let's see, we got this sidewalk, this uh, patio cement cleared off. And look at this part right here next to this bench. All of this right here. This is my first time seeing it exposed like that. When we bought this house, there was a pile of logs firewood just stacked up right there and well <laughs> I never moved that wood so never seen that part of and it's been three years that I've lived in this house and yeah it's my first time seeing that part of the concrete <laughs> but it's just a beautiful day there's clouds the sun finally came out it was mostly cloudy all today. We got up to a high of maybe 61. These are all the logs that were stacked up over there on that cement that I removed. But anyways, uh, well, let me show you this. I put in a second 4x4 four four box right here. It's a little shorter than the first one, but I mean, I had to do it because my cats, my cats keep laying. In fact, you can see right here where my cat was laying in his bed, right back here, and cannot keep him out of there. <laughs> That's where he likes to lay, so I ended up breathing this bed. And um, I'll reconfigure. I'll reconfigure this part right in here. Um, but yeah, so I'm kind of happy about that. <laughs> so I have one more box, and then over here I'm gonna end up. I'm gonna probably build another four by four box and put over in this area. somewhere that's what I'm thinking but I don't know so yeah it's just beautiful I love when after it rains and the clouds and stuff are clearing away and everything just feels so clean I guess this pomegranate tree I just love the leaves on here you saw in my other video my cat up in this tree climbing around and he just looks so adorable in this tree I'm gonna miss when this tree all the leaves turn green I'm gonna miss all this pretty red color it's my favorite color if you didn't know which I don't think I've ever mentioned that before so now you know red is my favorite color and look at that so pretty And with the sunlight going through it, it's so beautiful. So anyways, <clears throat> we managed to get this other box finished. I think I mentioned that in my previous video. I think the only thing that was left was just the cleanup process. And well, you can see for yourself that that started and it's starting to come together so like I said 
but it'll be on to phase two which I still haven't revealed yet but I will very soon starting tomorrow we're gonna have some about a week or so consecutive days of warm nice warm weather so I'll be ready to just go on ahead and and get a lot of stuff done um, I thought it was gonna rain today so that's the only reason why I didn't start everything today but, you know there's other days I wanted to show you this these are so pretty these lady banks yellow lady banks roses so pretty Anyways, that's all I have for you right now. I'll probably add a little bit more to this video as we go along. Show you some more stuff that I've got going. Like my potatoes are finally making their appearance. And since there are lumps and all the dirt in those other ones, then that means that they're about to pop out too. So happy about that. I'm gonna do a full on uh, tour soon show you what I got growing and what I'm catch you up on what I'm doing here so okay you guys well I'm almost out of juice here my battery is about to die but I wanted to show you what we've been up to my husband my son and I got out here and we put in this border for this garden bed right here I just got to finish putting it together. But this garden bed is going to be for my containers. It's going to be my container garden. So all of my containers, like the green ones there and all of my trees and bushes and stuff that I have in those black containers, all of those are going to line this cement way here. And... Also, I was able to finish putting together these garden beds. And so I'm just gonna sit back and wait. I let it sit for a few weeks. Um, this that I put on it, this is a black plastic sheet mulch. It's supposed to help solarize. That's a method, solarization, a method of um, Killing off the weed seeds and spores and stuff. Bad things that's in the soil. Now I did put some good soil under here, as you can see. But uh, yeah, it, it's supposed to heat up the soil and just burn off and kill off any bad things that are in there, like weed seeds and stuff. And I don't know how effective that's going to be for the amount of time that I'm going to leave it there. But uh, when I'm ready to plant in this and these beds, what I'll do is replace this plastic sheet mulch with um, black landscape uh, fabric or weed barrier fabric. And then I'll just go on ahead and cut whatever holes I need to in it and, and either plant my seeds or transplant my starts into the soil. So that's what I'm working on. Almost done. I keep saying almost done, right? <laughs> uh, I am for real almost done. Uh, I'm just going to finish getting this, all my containers put in here. I have to put my reroute my irrigation and everything get that all set up and then i'll be set to get things going look at tiger you're my baby 
Where's my love bug? Where's my love bug? But yeah, I'm very pleased with what we accomplished here. There's a lot of roots from the wisteria tree that was here. That was a pain to get out. And you can see that the concrete is not level. It's all messed up. It's raised right here because of those roots that were growing under the concrete. I don't know why they did that. The people who lived in this house before us. That wisteria was just a mess to have. And they had it growing on the patio cover. But with that patio cover, the wisteria was pulling it and so the patio cover was leaning so it was a dangerous situation and then the roots was growing all up under the concrete messing it up so yeah not a very wise thing to do but it's no longer an issue now hopefully it's gone <laughs> we dug out as much of that root as we can and then that i put some of that black plastic mulch sheet mulch down and it's pretty sturdy and thick. So I'm hoping that'll keep any other possible uh, growth from the roots that are still in the ground here um, of that wisteria. Hopefully it'll keep them at bay. So we'll see. But I'm all in all, I'm pleased with everything. And we'll just work on getting all this dirt and debris and other stuff bagged and put away. And I can, I'm excited to show you guys when this bed is finished, how it's going to look. And when my garden is finished, how it's going to look. I'm loving the way it's coming together. Okay, so I think I'm just going to end this video here. And, you know, if you hadn't already subscribed, if you like what you see on these videos and you haven't already subscribed, I ask you, please subscribe. It's only going to get better. There's only going to be more and more progress uh, being made. And you'll get a chance to see it firsthand when you subscribe and click that notification bell to be alerted whenever I do upload videos. I try and do them on a weekly basis. But who knows? It just depends on what I've got going on. I might do more than one in a week. But so far, it's been about a weekly basis. So anyways um if you like this video please click like and share leave a comment i love comments leave a comment and i will see you guys in the next video as always god bless